Hello and welcome to Platform Studio. In today's video, I will discuss the ZWCAD version 2025, the new update. We will explore the new features that ZWCAD has to offer, which include enhanced efficiency, ribbon redesign, panel redesign, floating document window, raster image to CAD, 3D display efficiency improvement, 3D gizmos, step file import, and many more. I will provide the download link of ZWCAD 2025 in the description below. You can just start with 30 days free trial from my link. Now I will discuss why I like ZWCAD. I have been using ZWCAD for last 6 months and my experience with it is very good. The reason I love ZWCAD is for its perpetual license. That means after buying ZWCAD, you can use it as long as you want. You don't have to pay any subscription fee or anything. AutoCAD doesn't have this feature. You have to pay subscription fee on AutoCAD in every year or every month and the fee is also a lot compared to ZWCAD. So it's a complete value for money. I have made a previous video on why ZWCAD is better than AutoCAD. If you want to watch that video, I will provide a link in the description. In that video, I have discussed the advantages of using ZWCAD, including the price and the value. Let's go through some other reasons why architects and designers should use ZWCAD. Firstly, it opens DWG files very fast. Then the interface is very smooth. Zooming in and zooming out is perfectly smooth and the line display quality is also very good. I like the ribbons and panel user interface. It's fresh, clean and user friendly. Some special smart tools that I like are here under tools. Firstly, I like the smart select. You can select lines or objects by their characteristics here. You can select them by their object type, color, layer, line type and line weight. Then I use check line connection to check if the lines are properly connected or not while hatching. Then smart voice is also a useful tool. You can leave short voice notes for corrections or suggestions for your colleagues or employees. If you want to convey a message or correction for your for the next person who will draw here, you can leave a simple voice note. It's a very handy tool. Another impressive tool is Smart Mouse. Uh, it's a gesture based command tool. Here, if I draw a L, the line command will be selected and I will be able to draw lines. If I draw Z, the zoom command will be selected. You can find the gesture settings here in smart mouse settings and you can customize them according to your habits. Then another smart tool I use is smart batch plots. Most architectural working drawings end up having a rectangular enclosure for precise plotting. Smart plots uses these to plot drawings efficiently. Here in Smart Plus settings, I have selected enclosed rectangles as my reference. Now I will select the drawings and it will automatically serialize the drawings. I like this function, very easy plotting and the PDF conversion efficiency is now very fast in the new ZWCAD 2025. ZWK 2025 solves many problems that architects face while drawing in a CAD software like the new floating document window enables users to use dual monitors or triple monitors and the new raster to vector conversion is very good, it is very helpful. The overall efficiency is also very good, uh, everything is faster now. Let's talk about enhanced efficiency by just showing an example. In my previous video, I timed the opening time of a large 100 megabyte DWG file. The opening time was 15 seconds. So with ZWCAD 2025, let's try, let's see how much time it takes to open the same file. and it takes only 12 seconds to open the file so the efficiency has improved the user interface the ribbons the panels are very user friendly now very flexible let's see 
You can now customize the program UI according to your personal habits to improve efficiency. You can adjust the panel positions by dragging. The ribbon panel can be slid out and it will collapse automatically if you move the mouse away. But you can fix it on screen with this pin icon. It won't collapse now. Also you can drag and float the ribbon panel in the drawing area like this. If you click this icon they will get to their previous positions automatically. You can also combine multiple panels like this. Also you can fold the floating panels by clicking here opening up the drawing space. You can now auto hide the properties panel by clicking here. The panel will hide automatically while you draw and then open up if you move your mouse cursor near it. You can also undo it here. So these were some new UI changes that I really liked. ZWSoft's UI has been always very clean and now it's more flexible. Floating document window and dual monitor. Another interesting thing is sometimes the drawing space can be insufficient while working and it's a hassle switching between multiple drawings. Nowadays many designers and architects use dual monitors. I myself use two monitors. ZWCAD has redesigned the ribbon and introduced floating document windows. This enables dragging drawings into another monitor. Let me show it. First, let's open another drawing. Let's pretend it's a reference drawing uh, of a swimming pool. Now I will drag the drawing like this. It's floating. I will then drag it into my second monitor. Now I can use it as a reference. It is very convenient. That's how we can use dual monitors in ZWCAD 2025. Raster image to vector conversion. In the past, many drawings were created in traditional paper format and also sometimes it's hard to find drawings in CAD format. If you search in internet, most of the drawings are in like JPEG or some kind of image format. With the raster to vector conversion feature in ZWCAD, we can simply take a photo of a drawing, import it into the software and convert it into a vector file or CAD file. It saves much time as we don't have to trace an image to create a CAD file. This can also be done in auto AutoCAD but not natively. AutoCAD requires a particular plugin to do this. So here I have a JPEG image of a site. After attaching the image, just use the vectorization command. Again, the vectorization command and your image will turn into vector lines. You can modify the vector graphics here. Press yes. You can modify the lines here. And that is your image to vector conversion. Just imagine how much time it would take to trace the image like this. Now let's move on to the new 3D features of ZWCAD 2025. I have a DWG 3D model here. Let's open this. 
So the new ZWK 2025 opens 3D files faster. Here it is. The 3D display is also very nice and smooth. Navigation isn't laggy. There are some more visual styles that have been added. The display quality and display efficiency of 3D models have been improved also. Here we can explore some new visual styles. Another interesting and useful feature is 3D to 2D projection using the flat shot option. Um, I want to get a 2D CAD drawing of the front elevation of this building. Let's go to the front view first. Here is the front elevation. Then just click on the flat shot icon here. Then press create and you will get your 2D drawing. So here's how you can convert 3D files into 2D drawings. The new ZWCAD version also supports 3D gizmos. You can find the gizmo tools here. First, let's select the move gizmo. Using this gizmo, you can move 3D objects in a 3D space like this. Similarly, you can rotate objects using the rotate gizmo. Like this. Another interesting thing is ZWCAD now also supports importing STEP files or STEP files. To do that, go to insert, then step import, and then select the file and import the file. Here is the step file. There are some other functions that was added like point cloud improvement and GIS improvement. If you want to learn more about these improvements, you can always go to their website. I will give a link to download the new ZWCAD 2025 in the description. You can download and start 30 days free trial. Overall, ZWCAD is one of my favorite softwares and it is very reliable for a smooth architectural workflow and I recommend using it. I use it myself. If you like this video, please press the like button and also subscribe. I will be making more videos this year. Everyone stay healthy and well. I will see you in the next video.